Was the anger directed towards him justified afterwards? Oh, uh, Robin, Sergio Ramos. Sergio Ramos <laughs> is Sergio Ramos. We know what he does. He, he has basically created this personality on the pitch, both for Spain and Real Madrid. He's known for dirty tricks. I will say, though, that this wasn't that. I really don't think so. I think that when they did, really did lock arms, and he's a very physical center back. There was another altercation, uh, you know, up with the elbow and carriers, but I need to look at that again because I do believe that maybe he was pushed by Van Dyke. But he has basically created this image of who he is. So everything he does will be microscopically looked at. You know, but I wasn't watching with that in mind. Of course, I know about it a little right. bit. And it looked a bit like an MMA move at the end. I understand, like, you, you sort of can get your arms wrapped and then it could be a total accident. But maybe after the first accidental interlocking, you don't think there was any thought in, in his mind? Well, I mean, the Egyptian FA definitely thinks so. That's why they're, like, suing them. <laughs> but to me... I Listen, here's the situation. Yes, I, I don't think it was the cleanest of things, but I think it's very easy to commentate after the fact. I think in the moment, fighting for that full 50-50, Sergio Ramos was just looking. Now, he wasn't thinking in his head, I'm going to break this guy's arm. I really don't think so. I know that there are people that are going to disagree with me, but I really do think that it was a, just a, a situation where both players were looking, looking for the ball, and, and that happened.